All right, everybody, <clears throat> welcome back. This is season three, week seven of the MML. Uh, we're coming off a, a forfeit last week, so sorry, no video um, for last week. Uh, nothing we could do about it. Um, but we are back, and we're back with a pretty big match, um, taking on Ronan. Um, and the Flanders Flygons, uh, they are 6-0 going into this week, and the current one seed. Um, we are currently 5-1 and one and the two seed, so if we win, we will jump him in seeding. Um, okay, and he said he's ready, so I'm going to try to speed up our intro a little bit. So yeah, I guess we'll do try to do a short one. Um, yeah, big match, like I said, one, two seeds going at it and potentially taking on. So okay, he said take our time. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> so this strat, um, it took a few changes to finally get this. Um, at first build, it felt like we didn't have a win con, and then. Um, once we added it, it felt like we should just kind of go all in on our win con. So, uh, that is Sneasler. Unburdened Psychic Seed. Adamant, two, uh, 20 speed, puts us plus two faster than Jolly Scarf Sneasler. Um, and the reason is I'm expecting him to speed creep my guy so, um, by one. So, I'm trying to answer back and speed creep his guy. We could be totally wrong and he might just run max speed Scarf or something, but... I'm willing to run that risk, because um, if we get it right, it'll be big. Um, tear Grass, uh, CC Gunk and Tear Grass pretty much cleans after plus two. The only things that stop it are Ogre Pond, uh, Terras, and um, potentially any bulk, or even no bulk, Typhlosion. Um, we have to Gunk Shot it, which is a resisted um, hit. And he is really frail, and we're really strong, but it's still like not a guaranteed kill. Um, I realized that today. It ha in Mox, it happened, and, and it just died, and I think I just kind of assumed it always would kill, but it is not. It is roll. Um, so yeah, Typhlosion Chip's very valuable. Um, we are Psychic Seed, so we do have a Psychic Terrain Setter. Um, as you will see next is Espeon. He is Sashed. Magic Bounce, also really good this week. We really don't want to have um, Hazards up. Psychic, Dazzling, Gleam, Shadow Ball, pretty standard. Um, but yeah, Psychic Train. Uh, we either want to get it up on someone faster, or um, hopefully we have the Sash, and then we can just make sure we get it up guaranteed. Uh, if he gets rocks up, that'll be tough, so we want to try to stop that as much as possible. The only problem is we cannot use Espeon to try to stop them, and hopefully just have to use the fear of it. <clears throat> uh, up next is Golem. Uh, he is sturdy, cussed at Barry, goal is to just kind of be our lead and not have us on the back foot right away. So Stone Edge, Heavy Slam, we're basically Stone Edging almost everyone except for Ogre Pond and Hatterene who we'd Heavy Slam. And then there's four other guys we would just hard switch out on, Alomomola, Wochian, Jirachi, and Tusk. We don't do enough to any of them and we have good switches especially on turn one and it's not a bad idea to save his sturdy for later um if we can and the cuss at berry as well um we are in door no explosion we were explosion but it kind of felt like we we're just running that because it's what they run on ladder and that's not necessarily um good in draft so endure feels really good um in case he like u turns with noivern and breaks our sturdy on turn one or something we can still potentially activate cuss at berry safely um, does risk getting set up on, which isn't crazy because golems can be kind of passive against the wrong guy. And then Stealth Rock, who, if Hatterene's there, we will not be clicking probably at all. Um, it just, it's so not worth the risk of him coming in. And we, um, Stone Edge into Heavy Slam should Oko most of the time. Unless he's, like, really, really defensive. Um... So yeah, really cool, I think just gets us on the right track right off the bat. I mean, we'd love to get rocks up if no hat. If not, then just deal some damage for us. 
Okay, so these three, and partially Golem again, if we save him, he might be around, but we're also just, we're kind of playing as if he's dead. Uh, these are the three guys, early Mon, Trenches guys. Uh, Sinistra is here for Tusk mostly, but also has good matchups against Aloma Mola and uh, Barascuta. Barascuta less so, because like Banded Crunch could do a lot, or even like Life Orb, so I have to be careful about that one. We do have Colberberry to protect against one Dark move, but he's got Knock, Muck, um, lots of, you know, he's got lots of things that can end up hitting us. Uh, Tusk as well, obviously, that's why we have it. Um, Calm Mind in the fourth slot, um, just potential late game setup is always valuable, um, especially if this set gets blown up. Uh, Terra Normal is for Typhlosion, um, with our ability in Terra Normal, we are immune to the ghost and resist the fire, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to pop it, even though it's a really cool Terra this week, just because Sneasler is almost certainly our Terra. Um, if that gets blown up, though, I guess it would be in the back, but there's a chance we pop Terra and it gets blown up, and then we have to deal with it with Sinisha. Uh, Corviknight, not our normal one. Um, not shiny either, lame. Uh, but we needed it for 10 IV speed, and Jenning apparently doesn't like... They gen you at 10 speed, and then they hyper-train it anyway, so it's stupid. <laughs> so we had to breed our own. Took two seconds, though, so it was fine. Um, pressure Rocky Helmet, um, he, um, he's not here for a long time, that's for sure. Um, he's got, he does well against everybody, but that, he also, as we, as we, uh, you know, with potentially Golem being dead and these two will not come in until it's time to sweep, um, and it'll be in back-to-back -back order. Um, it's basically these three are our switching power for early game until, and we want to try to do as much chip and disruption as we can with these three until we have to go for the setup. Um, the more things out of the way, the easier it is. <clears throat> so yeah, we said Sinistra, Corv, Defensive. Uh, last guy is Arcanine. He's kind of a holdover from the other build. Um, Terra Normal, Flashfire, uh, Extreme Speed was kind of the idea. It checks um, Typhlosion really good, and then just deals a lot of damage. The problem is, like we said, we probably want Sneasler to have Terra, and I honestly think in Mr. Er, you know, Sinistra actually has a better um, Terra than Arcanines this week as well. Um, so he's mostly here for damage. I think the biggest thing is, like, if he could just break Ogre Pond Sturdy, that would be really good. Um, yeah, not much to say. Flashfire, um, Typhlosion, he's the only thing that really does, has a good matchup against Typhlosion. Obviously, if Golem has his Sash, or, or uh, not Sash, his Sturdy. And then Espeon maybe can, but it's like... We cannot risk the Sash um, if it's like a Scarf Typhlosion or anything, and unless we're going for the setup with Psychic Terrain. So that's kind of the deal. Uh, setup, assist to the setup, lead guy, uh, block spin if we can get rocks up. Also just good against a few guys. Um, keep rocks off. That's that's Corviknight's biggest job, honestly. And then Arcanine is just, you know, do damage, glue on, do something helpful, please. Um, I think that's it, though, and time to get into the match. Pretty nervous for this one. Alright, Sash, Custap, Colbert, Rocky Element, Bandit, Psychic Seed. Woo! Extremely nervous, I'm getting ready to write. <clears throat> Alright, we are gonna lock in our lead right away. He did bring a little Momola, so I'm glad we did what we did. No tusk. Okay, so he has Typhlosion is an issue. Jirachi. 
a little Momola. So Sinistra can do good against Scuda and Alomomola, but I'm not sure how well he can do against both over time. Uh, Hatterene, I'd like to use Golem for that as much as can, but Corv is also good. Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's always Corv. Sin, Sin. Uh, Golem Corv. Arc. Arc is also good for Jirachi. And we are. I am very nervous. I can feel it. <laughs> it's a big match, and this looks like it'll be a tough one. Arcanine. Corv. And Sinistra. So. Typhlosion is our toughest thing to stop the sweep and Ogre Pond. So all the things that can be annoying are there. Um, hopefully we get some chip on Typhlosion. That'd be really big. <clears throat> okay. So I think we're going to stay in and swing on this. Should flip turn into somebody. Takes us down to sturdy, so we get cussed app next turn unless we don't want to use it. Depends who he brings in. So we're definitely saving it because we can't touch this. Corv mm. is good, so is Sinistra. Just depends. If he like flip turns, I'd rather get the Rocky Helmet and let's see who he goes to. Like Typhlosion, yeah. I don't think he stays in. He should just flip turn. Probably should have went Corv. Okay. to take a ghost move. Ah, okay, okay. I don't know why I thought he stayed in. <laughs> Maui. Okay, so this is good to break uh, sturdy on this thing. And the crit is really nice. Um, how much can this thing do to me? That's a good question. Can always go Corv. There's no risk. Really. I mean, he really can't do much except knock. Which would knock do? With the Colbert Berry, he doesn't have Tusk, so I kind of want to do it. Um, but we're not. It's 
mostly because I don't think matcha kills. Okay, he has these. Uh, I shouldn't break through, so I'm just going to U-turn. Don't crit. Okay. And he lives. It's a little annoying. I think we do have to do this. <laughs> this is pretty annoying. Because he can go a Loma Mola pretty freely here. And that's frustrating. But it kind of is an is what it is thing. And we can't risk the misc either. No Specky Shield. Specky Shield would have been bad there, actually. It's kind of weird there to risk, actually. Okay, so we got rid of that thing. And Golem's kind of whatever now. Pretty confident in Arcanine living. It's a little scary though. Hopefully he doesn't Terra. If he Terra's, we might have to try to set up win earlier than we wanted. Okay, he withdraws. He does have Flame Charge though, so we have to be careful of that. Yeah, this is okay. That does nada. This is why we had a feeling a little mobile was going to come. Um, went Sinistra last time. It does let Typhlosion back in. So it was Corv though. Um, What is Corv good for? Corv's good for something. We'll get a sack later or something. Um, shoot. I don't know. I guess we'll see what he can do. He should be flip turns here. It's a little annoying. Typhlosion's gonna be a bit of a problem. Yep, flip turn. So, Corv might have been better. Dep uh, it's just tough. Because we take the chip there and 
you know, he's bringing in someone else. At least Macha can threaten. So yeah, he goes back to Typhlosion, who's becoming a problem. Hmm. So he does see our Culverberry. Um... <laughs> While we're here, it's not choice scarfed or anything. I mean, we live everything pretty well, even an eruption, we get like Calm Mind and then what, the second one, maybe, I don't know, it's kind of tough. We just go Arc. <clears throat> this is a losing game for us though at the moment, but this was kind of always something we knew was possible. Infernal Parade, it's going to do quite a bit, and the crit does not help. I think we live another one though. Hmm. There's nothing we can risk though. I mean, we're gonna switch Sinisha in when you just click Ghost Move. It's easier to risk on. He's playing smart. Hmm. Defense ball. This is not a winning game for us, but we're also just kind of seeing what's going on right now. And I want to, I think we live one, Ugh. if it's specs, it might just kill. He went for Infernal Parade though. I think we live one and take the chip. It's really tough because we might just die. <laughs> um, it's not specs though, so the best it could be is expert belt. It's cl it's a roll. I think we take the chance though at this point. Things piecing us up too much. Ah, another crit, man. That's brutal. Mm. <laughs> it's getting tough. We're gonna get to a point here, like when are we gonna actually go for it though? 
We go Arcanine now. He goes Alamomola. We could hard switch Corv. That get us anything. Stay in, or do we win the speed tie? I think we just won the speed tie, hopefully. Okay. I don't know if this gives us anything, honestly. Um. Don't burn. <laughs> it's tough to set up in front of this thing though because it's pretty passive. Get to a point where we have to kind of go for it, though. That's two turns, or that three. I need someone to kill this thing. <laughs> okay, that should kill. I okay, still got two turns, so. Alright, this was always the strat. <clears throat> Not quite the way we envisioned it going, but hopefully this works. Checking <laughs> that. 
tear grass does the job. Yes, it does. Darn it. <clears throat> What's the Terra Dragon? Poison. Mmm. So is Bear Scoot and Typhlosion. Skull. Don't get the burn. Darn. That's brutal. Not doing that much. Yeah, we never break this thing, but we can keep it low. And hopefully a crit or something. It's crazy, but I think I want to go for the gunk shot just so I can live another turn. Don't miss. Okay. Keep this thing low. Maybe Arc can Revenge or Sinistra. Espeon would be cool to have. out with the protect though. That sucks. I should have summoned for the CC. That was a dumb risk for no reason. And we are dying to burn next turn regardless. Don't think there's any particular reason to save this thing. It's slower than everyone else. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Let's pre protect. Okay, so we did not get the sweep. <laughs> so we are in a bit of a trouble troublesome spot here. Um Damn, that's brutal. That's a great terror though on his end. Terror poison. Um Yeah, I have to think about what we're doing now. Corf can heal right now, that's something. Corv is still good for Scooter. Versus, um... We 
kill Arcanine first? I like we can. Do this thing. And we have to roost. Don't burn. Just a matter of time on that burn, though. Ah, oh, that does nothing. That was a crit. Oh, Loma Mola is a problem. <laughs> the roost and U turn. Where do we need to keep this thing low? I don't think we can break this thing anymore. It's a big problem. <laughs> oh, please don't burn this time. And the crit. No burn. Flare Blitz does do over half. But it's like one of those things where I don't think it'll matter. Skull's gonna kill. Maybe not. Maybe you live. Ah, uh, with the flare blitz drop, yeah, we definitely will. Well, it's looking like we're going down. Oh, big damage, though. That does not help, I don't think. Mm -mm. So, Typhlosion should pick up the last kill. Man, that was a good game, though. That was a good tear on his end, and we... I, I still like our strat, and I would run it back again. It seems tough. And he brought Aloma Mola, who he hadn't shown to really like at all. This does kind of help us, though. I'm not going to lie. The question is, can Corv in any way <laughs> live a Typhlosion hit? Not at all. <laughs> We just roost though. Crit. <laughs> Crit this thing. Oh wait, what is this? No! Yeah, we, we can't break this thing. <laughs> uh, that is so bad. I'm gonna try to preserve some diff, but I don't know if we can. I have no clue what my play is, but I think we just keep ray birding in the meantime. He might be out of scalds now. He's not. Why would he be? And there it is. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> darn it. Um. Well, I think I don't even know. I think it's like Omega crits we need now. 
I'm trying to think, I'm like, I'm not trying to stall this out. I'm trying to think if there's any, if there's any way we can win. I think it's, I think it's a Dunzo wrap though. And now we're getting burned. I don't, I honestly don't know if there's any way. Uh, nah, he says, I feel so out prep, I got bailed out, but like, nah, man. That, first of all, it's Pokemon, so luck's always a thing. Um, number one, and Terra Poison is a is great prep, honestly. Like, Terra Poison, Terra Ghosts are really good Terras for a guy, so we'll probably message him after. Um, I don't like to message during the game, even if it's over. But, um, I'm trying to avoid this thing getting a kill, too. Do not want this guy moving up kill leader. I think we can break bird. I mean, if we die, it's like whatever at this point, honestly. Kill him. Nope. <laughs> uh, all right, we're, we'll secede. There's no reason to keep going. Alright, we'll get this thing up 